A common pattern in web applications is to put up a form to capture some customer information, store that information into a uh, table and then send some kind of confirmation email to the person who fills in the form. So uh, the dialogue component in version 11 is ideal uh, for that type of pattern. So you can see here we have a simple dialogue component that's asking for um, name and address information and then what we'd like to do is on the uh, submit button when the user hits the submit button we'd like to save the information that they filled in and then send them a confirmation email so let's go ahead now and see how that can be easily done so I'm going to go back to design mode and then I'm going to go back to my server side events and we would like to add an event to the after dialogue validate because uh, this is the event that gets called after we've checked to see that the user has filled in all the necessary uh, required fields and uh, not made any uh, data entry errors. So the first thing we would like to do uh, after the dialog has been validated is actually go ahead and save the record to a table. So uh, we can either write our own code here or we can use uh, server-side action scripting to choose um, the uh, save submitted data to a table and I'm going to go here and uh, let me just delete these existing actions which since we're going to start from scratch and I'll choose here um, save record and uh, uh, typically what you want to do is after the user has hit the submit button and if there are no errors you'd like to redirect to another page so I'm going to redirect to a page that I've previously created called thank you dot a five W and uh, so that's all I need to do now and basically the data is going to be saved and of course I've, I haven't mentioned but um, that uh, in order to make this action work I previously needed to go to the data binding section and uh, specify how this dialog is bound to a table so you can see here that we've bound it to a uh, MySQL connection and to a table called customer inquiries in this MySQL uh, database and uh, then if we go to fields we can see that the fields are bound the, f the controls on this dialog are bound to the corresponding fields in the um, underlying table so so now we've basically uh, stored the data in the table and next what we'd like to do is um, send um, uh, an email so again there's an action for that uh, in action scripting but um, we only want to send the email if this uh, record was saved correctly if there was some error in saving the record then we don't want to move on to um, send the email so if we look here in this save record action and we go down to show variables exposed by this action we can see here that for example one of the variables that's exposed by the save record action is this record this variable called rec uh, record was saved um, just and so let's copy that variable now uh, to the clipboard and uh, go here now and say if record was saved then and now here is where I'm going to put my action to send the uh, confirmation uh, email so let's go now to um, action scripting and this time I'm going to choose the send an email message and I'll go here and I'll say uh, send message and now up comes the uh, dialog and uh, the first uh, prompt is where do you want to get the email settings from that's the the account that you're going to be using to sending to send the emails so I can either specify them uh, right now uh, right in this uh, action or I can use the actions the settings that are defined inside web project properties so uh, let me just temporarily close this down now and go over to my web project properties uh, dialog and you can see in web project properties under email settings I've defined all of my uh, email settings right now so these settings can be used by uh, by any action uh, throughout this entire application so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video